Hey, what's up, family? Yeah, this is for any and all home buyers. So I just want to put some knowledge in your head, stuff that you actually already know, because I love saying that to people. I'm not telling you nothing that you don't already know. I'm only reinforcing what you know. And for some, some things you may not know. So for all home buyers, I'm going to title this video, Home Buyers and Realtors Nonsense, because you have to be aware, you do. You truly have to be aware of a lot of these realtors' nonsense. They are in it for their pockets and their profit only. They will play the game and say all kind of nice stuff to you and to get you to buy something and buy something quick so they could benefit. But remember, you're the one about to buy this home. You're the one about to have this 30 year mortgage or more. Make sure it's something that you want that fits your budget, not theirs. For example, this is what I'm talking about. A lot of times you will go with these realtors and they will say stuff like, let's say you're excited about this place, right? They will say, well, look, you gotta hurry up. You gotta move fast. You gotta, cause things are moving so fast. Things are moving fast. I don't know if this is gonna be on the market tomorrow. See, they always say that. Do not fall for the, 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 the don't talk, fall for the cheese or the, the banana in the tailpipe. Don't, don't fall for it because as they say stuff is going so fast, guess what? This house is on the market today. It was on the market last month last year, and if it isn't, there are other properties that's on the market. Don't feel like you gotta rush. Do stuff at your own leisure. You know, and as always, you know I love to give you a word of the day. That's the word of the day. What is le your own leisure? You know, like when you take your time, your free time, you do stuff when it's convenient for you. Don't do it because they're telling you, you gotta rush, things are moving real fast. No, let me tell you why they say that nonsense. They say things are moving real fast because you're not their only client. They got you, and they got four other people on cl as clients. They got people on the internet as clients. So the quicker they get a sale with you, the quicker they move on to the next person. If you ever notice, that's why when you make an appointment with them, they may go and show you a house today and tomorrow, but if you don't pick something right quick, they, they'll tell you, well, I'm gonna be busy the third day and the fourth day, but maybe we can sit up next week because you're not moving fast enough for them. And what did I tell you earlier? Do this at your own leisure. Make it beneficial that it fits your budget, not them. You understand what I'm saying? They love to say that. They love to be in your business. They love to ask you questions such as, what do you do for a hobby? You know, uh, what do you and your wife? Now, let's say you make the mistake and you tell them, oh, I collect coins. Uh, we, we eat out three, four times a week. Uh, my wife buys a bunch of shoes. You know, whatever, like stuff you don't really need type of hobbies, right? They'll use that against you. And now when you want to get this high house that costs this much, they'll be telling you stuff like, well, maybe you should cut back on some of those hobbies. Maybe you should cut back from eating out every day. You guys can actually afford this. Don't fall for that. Keep it professional. Keep it limited information. Very important. This one is crucial. When you give them a budget, let's say you want to buy a house and you tell them, I'm just throwing a number out there. Let's say you want to buy a house and you say your budget is $200,000, right? We know the market now is crazy, it's way above that, but I just want to give you a simple base number. Let's say you, you tell them, my budget is about $200,000, right? And they're gonna be like, well, can you go a little higher than that? Remember, do this at your leisure and that fits your budget, not theirs, because if you tell them a 200, then they're going to go, hey, could you go a little higher than that? Now, let's just say you say something like, well, I could do about 270. You know what they're going to do? All the properties that they're going to show you, they're not going to be in the low end of your budget. It's going to be the high end of your budget. Matter of fact, higher than your budget. You also told them you need to be in a certain location. You, you know, you need to be near the college, near your job, near the train station, near the airport, whatever. For some reason, they keep showing you houses that's nowhere near your location you want and definitely outside of your budget. So let's, so let's go with a number again. Let's say you said, uh, my budget is somewhere about 150000 to 200000 right? So you got a $50,000 gap, right? Like I said, you think she gonna that realtor gonna show you properties within 150? No, she gonna show you everything to uh, everything to 200,000 and above. She could clearly gonna go over your budget. So, and if she happens to show you a property, he or she happens to show you a property on your low end, 
they're going to make sure they show you the worst of the worst in that budget. So therefore, you don't even want to look at it. There are definitely decent properties within your budget. You just got to do your due diligence. You go on the internet too and you check. You look at the ones they show you as well. And another very important thing, have more than one realtor. Because as I said to you earlier, if you don't pick nothing real quick, all of a sudden they're going to get busy on you. They're going to say they're too busy to go out with you the next, the third, and fourth day. They got multiple clients. That's why you, if you're smart, and I know you are, you should have more than one realtor. Because as soon as they tell you, oh, I'm going to be busy this day, you go, no problem. We can set it up on another day when you got the time. But in the meantime, they don't need to know all your business. That's when you go set up your appointment with the other realtor. And by doing this, you are doing it at your leisure. You set the one to two days with them, because that's pretty much they're going to give you two to three days tops. And then all of a sudden they're going to say they're busy if you don't pick that. And then the, the third or the fourth day, that's when you're with your other realtor. You get what I'm saying? And like I said, whatever budget you give them, I guarantee you they're going to always go at the high end and above your budget. Keep it within your budget. Remember, you are responsible for this mortgage, not them. They want a quick sale and move on to the next person real quick. They don't have no concern about your, your feelings, your financial situations. They want a quick sell. Don't fall for their nonsense. Now, I could, I could go on and on with a bunch of nonsense how these realtors do, but let's keep it simple, folks. Keep the short the video short because I keep going, I don't want to do that. I just want to point out those very simple things to you. Keep it within your budget. Don't allow them to go way above your budget because, oh, this looks so nice. Oh my gosh, this is exactly where I want it. Yeah, but it's outside your budget. Don't, don't get overzealous because, oh my God, this is so nice. And when they see that, you're acting overzealous, they're going to show you another property way outside your budget. Don't do that. Take your time. You can find exactly what you're looking for within your budget, but just be patient and have more than one realtor and don't fall for their nonsense that you got to buy something real quick because they said so. Peace.